Um, Sue from East of Hartford, again, Monday morning, or well, actually it's afternoon now, I did try to get this done this morning, but, you know, by the time you bought the dog, and you've had a shower, and you've fat, and you've been on your phone, it takes a while. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing all right at home, um, bearing up, there is light at the end of the tunnel, I hear. Okay, so I've changed the venue, <laughs> sitting in the front room, we're in the hallway, and um, I just wanted to show you a few of the pieces that I've pulled out of the shop. Um, no people aren't dropping me off new pieces, um, just in case I end up with lots of messages. These are pieces that we've had in the shop, which are transitional pieces. I feel like we've almost gone from winter straight into summer, and then we're back into winter again today. It's, you're all over the place when it comes to what, what you need to wear at the moment. Um, so a few pieces I wanted to highlight are things that we've uploaded onto our website, which is www.mintofhartford.co.uk. Are we actually live? It is working, because I've already done this once today. Forgot to press the live button. <laughs> I'm so rubbish. Right, okay, so a couple of little bags that we have at the moment. So this is a cute little leather cross the body bag. It's 29 pounds and it's a little half moon. And it's just great. I mean, if you're dog walking, you just want to take your phone, you're not really needing to take much out at the moment. But that's good. Um, and also we've got it in navy. They're the only two colors, ladies, that we have it, but they're online and they're, they're adjustable straps as well. And I've paired it with my little lady here because I think she's wearing a nice outfit. It's kind of the BE Day red, white and blue ensemble. And this is a Max Mara dress. Um, I would say the mannequin here is a size 10, but she's, um, she's quite a basic size 10. Um, but this is more of a box fit shift dress, so it's quite good on the hips. Um, it has a zip at the back, okay, and the arms go through here. So it's kind of one of those bare-shouldered little dresses, but it's quite good if you're not keen on your arms and you just want to hide a little bit of your arm there. Um, it has pockets. I found out earlier when I did the earlier not alive video that these have pockets as well so it's quite a nice little dress I'm five seven I would say it would come up this is pretty much to me I would say it would come up to my just below my thigh so if somebody on a five two five three it would just be above your knee just to give you an idea also I like the fact that it's got straps you can still wear a bra with it and hide the straps underneath um, and also with Sportsmax, Max Mara, they always put a little rhinestone here on their outfit. So it be on a jumper or whether it's a skirt, they always put a little gemstone. And it's always kind of just a little baguette, pale blue, or it'll be a dark blue or a clear stone. And it's almost like it's their little trademark. Now, I'm going to bring in something else, which is Max Mara. So that's a size 10, by the way, and it's online. So it's on our website. Um, and it is machine washable, 30 degrees, quick press, it's done. This, again, is some Sports Max code. And this, I love this strip, this little top, actually, because it's midnight blue with white stripe with a black overlay. And it's got a zip at the back. It is a sleeveless, it's a box fit, okay? It'd look lovely with little white capri pants. And again, here um, is the little Diamante baguette as well, okay? So that's how you know something is the Sportsmax code. And I think this is a size 10 and it's on our website. Now going through some pieces that I've pulled out, um, this is on the website at the moment, and this is Paul Smith, it's like a merino wool. Um, always think Paul Smith and also John Smedley do lovely wools. Um, it's not cashmere, I would say it is a merino, it just says it's 80% wool, um, and it's the Paul Smith Black range, so it's an expensive range of theirs, but it's very, um, is it androgynous, when it's kind of 
quite masculine. It would suit somebody if you've got broad shoulders. It's got a good, nice, boxy fit. Would be lovely with a pair of boyfriend jeans. And it is a size medium and it's £68. Again, if you like comfort wear, um, we've got this lovely sloppy, very soft sweatshirt and it's got splits either side and it's got a little bit of V detail. It's a size medium and it's by Gigi the brand GG and it's £44 and again it's a box fit I'd say a medium probably size 10 to 12 so if you're wanting things that are easy just to pop on at the moment ladies this is a little Oliver bonus size 10 um, it's blush I wouldn't normally put blush with the red I'm like oh no it doesn't go actually it looks quite nice with it i put it with the red bag um i did it on the mannequin in the garden the other day and i put it online on the website and i think it actually pulled it out it made it quite quirky um you could wear it with um converse just an easy it's a good shoulder i would say it's a true size 10. the um sleeves kind of cut like that not straight so they're very flattering on the arm. It is a shift. Um, I would say if you're curvaceous, it'll just catch on the hips a little bit. And it is splits either side. Um, and it would be kind of calf length or just, it's a couple of inches below my knee. So yeah, it, it's quite nice actually. It sort of covers up a little bit of your leg. Staying with that theme of colour with the blush, I love this. This is so cute. This is kind of a little dolly dress. Um, this is still got its tags on. It was from the dressing room. It was £230. Um, it's called Blush, the colour, and we've got it here for 79 pounds it is a small so it'll probably be a size 8 to 10 um above your knee long sleeve slightly cropped sleeve i love the detail of this pink lace paired with the peach with the blush i think the combination is beautiful would look lovely just with bare legs flip-flops little pair of gladiator sandals or wear it with a pair of kind of denim jeggings quite cute and trainers again it's on the website uh, another one on my route today is this we had it in the shop as a dress and we've now got it as a little top it is silk it is beautifully made again it is by Sportsmax code just trying to find that little dim one so here it is it's on the shoulder this time um it is very sheer it would look gorgeous for a festival or not that we're probably doing festivals now this year but i do like it a little short it's quite nice as an evening top you know in the evenings it gets a little bit chilly and you just want to cover your arms create with some black skinny jeans to wear it during the daytime with some i don't know nude nude wide leg trousers would look quite cool with it like nice high-waisted ones so that is a size 10 um the tag inside the care label has been cut out but i would say it would be a very cold silk hand wash or dry dry clean only now I'm going to get over to the fun bits because I do love sunglasses. I'm going to just show you a couple of sunglasses. Um, these are Chanel. And I do love the Chanel lenses. So, Dylan, I'm going a bit closer. Is that okay? You can see the glasses. And they've got little bows on the side of the glasses. Okay, and they're kind of a gradient tint of brown. They're not polarised, I think don't appear to be polarised, um, tortoiseshell frame, really lovely glass and comes with its box. 
and these will be put online later on today. Again, I did put on Instagram earlier today. These are the classic aviators. They come in a black box, the black classic. And here they are brown gradient. I wouldn't say, and they're a gold frame, by the way. I did have a question about that and I was a bit busy trying to set up for this. Um, now I would say that it is the gold. If you want a dark lens for bright sunshine, I wouldn't recommend these. I would recommend these for just walking about town, driving the car, as you want a nice light, lightweight pair of sunglasses. They've got a really lovely tint for, so you'd be able to go um, in and out of places and without having to take your glasses off. You don't feel like you've got really dark glasses on. Um, the arm here, I've got to say, is a little bit bent, hence we put the price on for £45. But I would say, you know, I don't notice the how bent it is when I've just popped them on, but I need to tell you that, because I, I wouldn't want somebody to buy them and then be disappointed. My little personal favourites are these because they're just that little bit way out. I do love the limey green lens. The, they're a mirrored lens. And again, they're black. Um, no, sorry, they're gold. What am I saying? They've got clear pieces going over. They're, they're not bent, actually. They're in really good condition. Um, nice, lightweight, easy to wear pair of glasses. It's a little bit funky. Um, so, brown box. show you another bag now and uh, this is Desi Grail, Desi, Desi Girl. it's Desi Girl, and it is reversible which I, I think is so cute actually it's not leather it's um sort of leather so vegan um here it is reversible it has orange seahorses on it so you can turn this the other way and it's got the brand on the outside and here it's black and white spots but it's the other way around which is quite cool actually um that's a little cross the body bag and we've put that on the website too um another thing we've had in is um libra's kind which i always find really difficult to say by the way the box is a little bit water stained there, but that's just the box. It's tiger print, and then it has a little popper in the middle, so this would be quite good for popping your phone in. And then what's it got? it's got cards for money, and this side, again, it has another lot for cards, so it's quite good if you've got lots of cards, basically. Um, and you don't want to take a bag with you, but you need a nice little going out purse. That's on the website. Um, need to show you these, because my son pointed these out to me the other day, because I just thought, oh, they're just Converse. Nice Converse, not really been used, probably been worn once. They're in immaculate condition. I love this fabric. It's kind of like a Missoni. Um, it's Nike Fly Knit. Nike Fly Knit. Lit. Knit. Knit. Nike Flight Knit. Fly Knit. Fly Knit. <laughs> or maybe I should have him here to sort of tell me what I'm doing. But it is um, the Converse Lu Luminon. Oh, it's. <laughs> Luma, was it? No, it's Converse collaboration with Nike. With Flyknit Upper and Nike Luna Run Sole, which is their running sole. So it's a Nike Luma Luna Run Luna Run Sole. So it's a running sole. So it's a collaboration. If you didn't get that from Dylan, from Nike, <laughs> I probably got that completely wrong. But I thought they were really cool. I just thought that I liked the fabric actually, and there was a kind of a Missoni esque. But these are a six. But I would say they're a large six. They're more of a six and a half, but they're too small for a seven. Okay. Um, 
anything else? Oh, one more bag. Just to show you, it was the Tommy Birch, which I love it. I've really packed it out actually with um, lots of stuff in it. It has a dust cover to take all the stuffing out. So you can see inside here. Um, and also it's got a detachable strap. It's got lots of compartments. It's even got another long zippy compartment so you can put your iPad laptop in it. Um, actually, it's not quite so bulky when you take all the stuffing out, obviously. And it's got um, gold studs at the bottom. It's got a little bit of wear on the bottom, but I wouldn't say it was like would really deter me. I mean, it's good if I actually put my glasses on, then I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, that's better, I can actually see. So inside, it's a blue fabric. Inside, it's got the Tory Birch. It's actually in really good condition. And it's on the website, I think for 195, but I have a feeling we've taken 20% off of this, so it might be about 150, 160 now. So it's quite nice, it's a good little bag actually for that money. Um, and that's it, everybody. So any, any questions, if there's anything that you've liked here on the video today, just message me on Instagram. We're on Facebook, we do Twitter, we've got the website now. And also, um, I come on to the shop and I can sort of package anything that you like up for you. I hope you have a fabulous week and I will post this on YouTube too. Take care. Bye. So you now have a YouTube account? Yeah.